Hi there. I'm Adam Gilbert, Associate Professor of Mathematics at Southern New Hampshire University and volunteer at Open Intro. The purpose of this video is to share a new type of resource available to students and instructors through Open Intro. These resources are interactive notebooks. Versions have been built for use with the Introduction to Modern Statistics textbook and also the Open Intro Statistics textbook. I'll show you how to access both and give you a short tour of what you'll experience in these notebooks. I'll start by showing you these interactive tutorial notebooks for the Introduction to Modern Statistics textbook. We'll go to the main page for IMS now. On this page, we'll look at the paragraph devoted to tutorials and click on the link at the end of the paragraph. Clicking on that link will take you to the landing page for the IMS tutorials. Uh, there are six tutorials associated with IMS, each one containing several different lessons. I'll open the first tutorial and one of its lessons so that we can see how to interact with the notebooks. What I really like about these notebooks is there's no need to install specialized software uh, on your computer or access specialized software from the web. Uh, these are used without installing anything. Um, I'm going to open up one of the notebooks to show you what the notebooks look like. So we click the link to launch it and it opens immediately in your web browser. In the notebooks, you'll encounter some reading explanations, sometimes videos, and eventually you'll get to questions. I've answered this question, so I'm gonna click the Start Over button so that we can see what it's like to answer a question. When I answer the question, I get immediate feedback, and I can try again if I answered the question incorrectly. The questions sometimes take the form of multiple choice questions like the one I've answered here, multiple answer checkbox questions, or even eventually interactive code blocks where you can write and run our code to analyze real data. Don't worry if you've never seen R before or if you've never even written code. These notebooks will teach you everything you need to know and the practice you get within the notebooks will prepare you to analyze your own data. All of the embedded uh, questions, as I've shown, are set up to provide you immediate feedback and to allow you to try again if you get a question wrong. I'm gonna transition now to talk about the Open Intro Statistics uh, notebooks. The notebooks are similar in style and function to the notebook I've just shown you here, but the way they're accessed is different. Um, we'll focus on the, inter the Open Intro Statistics tutorial notebooks for the remainder of this video. And again, I'll show you a bit more about the notebook functionality along the way. I've pre-built a workspace on posit.cloud with these notebooks uh, pre-installed and all of the functionality pre-installed for running these Open Intro Statistics tutorial notebooks. I'm launching the workspace now. Um, the workspace is titled Open Intro Statistics Notebook Companion, and it's freely available for copy. The link to this workspace will be available on the main page for the Open Intro Statistics textbook at openintro.org, and will also be available below in the description below this video. In order to access and utilize the Open Intro Statistics tutorials, you'll need a posit.cloud account. I'm gonna to head to posit.cloud forward slash plans so that I can talk to you a little bit about the plans that are available to you. Again, there are several different types of accounts available. Whether you're an instructor or a student, you can choose to use a free tiered basic account or you can use a paid tiered account. The free tiered account restricts the number of projects that you can run and also the number of collaborators you can have on a project. This uh, tier account also gives you 25 hours uh, of, of access time each month. So that means that you can be logged in working on a project for 25 hours a month. 
If you're just running the open intro statistics tutorials, then this may be plenty of access time and functionality. You might, however, want some additional functionality or more features or more access time on posit.cloud. If you're an instructor, you can register for an instructor tiered account. This allows you to see into the workspaces of students which are enrolled, enrolled under you, uh, but that does require that the students have a student tiered account. If you're a student, registering for a student tiered account will grant you 75 hours of access each month rather than the 25 hours uh, that's permitted with a basic free tiered account. You should really work with your instructor to determine which access tier is right for you. I'm going to switch to a different browser so that I can show you what it looks like once you've created a posit.cloud account. I have one here uh, for a sample student. Um, once you log in, you'll see a screen much like this one. You'll have an empty workspace with no content. If you click the link in the description attached to this video, or the, the link that's on the Open Intro Statistics landing page, uh, that's a, that will take you to the workspace that I built. I'm just going to grab the link from my workspace quickly. I'm going to copy it and paste it into my browser. This is going to create a copy of the Open Intro Statistics Notebook Companion. You'll be able to tell that it's mine since my name is listed here in gray next to the workspace name. And you'll see a red blinking temporary copy banner here next, uh, next to that workspace name as well. What you'll want to do is you'll want to save a permanent copy that's no longer associated with my account into your workspace. You can do that by clicking this make uh, save a permanent copy button. What that will do is it will create a copy of the, the workspace. Uh, this will be your own copy and it will no longer be associated with my account. You can tell that because my name is no longer here and you no longer have the um, temporary copy banner. In fact, if you click back to your workspace, you'll see that you have this copy and that it's private. So only you can access it right now. Now that you have your own permanent copy of the workspace, including the Open Intro Statistics tutorials, you're ready to utilize them. You'll access the tutorial notebooks through the Tutorials tab in the top right pane of our studio. So I'll click on that. I'm going to expand this. And in this pane, you'll be able to see 19 tutorials associated with topics from the Open Intro Statistics textbook. In order to launch a tutorial notebook, you'll identify the tutorial that you want to work on, and you'll click this Start Tutorial button next to the title of the interactive notebook. I'm going to launch the Topic 3 notebook now. The notebook will build and then populate within the Tutorials pane. Sometimes this takes a few seconds. Um, but now you can see uh, the Tutorials pane has the notebook populated in it. The notebook looks similar to the one that we saw with the IMS tutorial notebooks, the Introduction to Modern Statistics tutorials. You've got a uh, table of contents here on the left, and you've got content uh, on the right next to it. As you're working through the tutorials, you'll be met with reading, and eventually you'll be met with checking your understanding questions. Uh, these are interactive code blocks where you can write and run our code. Um, I'm going to skip to one that requires a little bit less code than the, the one I was just showing you. Uh, here's a code block that's asking me to take the mean of a sample of data. Um, I've shown an example of how to calculate the mean of a sample column from this data set. And what I'm asking the, the user to do now is to apply that technique to calculate the mean of a different column. Uh, you can see that the code cell is set up to allow you to run code. It's also allowed, uh, set up to allow you to submit an answer. 
Uh, there will be immediate feedback with the code cells. And again, you have the option to try again to get your question correct. So I took the mean of sample three, uh, sorry, sample two, uh, and I really wanted to take the mean of sample three here. And again, I get immediate feedback. As you're working through these again, you'll see uh, in addition to code block questions, um, multiple choice questions. Those multiple choice questions, again, give you immediate feedback. You can see, uh, see your understanding in real time. And again, all of these questions are set up uh, so that you can try as many times as you need in order to get things correct uh, while you work through the content. The idea and the philosophy with this is it should help you identify where you have strong understanding and where you have uh, maybe the need to ask questions of a, an instructor or a mentor. These notebooks are also built so that you they save your progress uh, as you're working through them. Um, so in the event that you need to take a break and come back to a notebook at a later time, there's no explicit saving step here. You can simply close the tutorial notebook by using the stop sign icon or the home button. This closes out of the tutorial and now uh, you can go do something else. Um, if you are ready to relaunch the tutorial, then uh, you can identify the tutorial that you were working on and simply click the Start Tutorial button again. This will rebuild the tutorial, um, but RStudio will remember where you left off and will include all of the responses to checkpoint questions that you've provided during previous sessions. So I skipped that first code block. Uh, but I had answered the second one and the notebook has remembered that I answered that second one and that I got it correct. Uh, I had also answered a checkbox question and gotten that one correct. So again, there's no explicit saving step. The notebooks will remember the work that you've done when you close out or even if you time out on the notebook. So if you leave your project running on posit.cloud and it's idle for a while, Posit.cloud will close it down so you don't use all of your access time just because you forgot to log out. Um, one other nice feature here is that it's possible for instructors to uh, collect and grade student performance on these notebooks. Each notebook contains a submit section, so I'm going to navigate there now using the table of contents. And in that submit section, you have a button to generate a hash code. This is a seemingly random string of characters, but it is going to allow an instructor to recreate the corresponding notebook in a convenient format on their own computer, and then to efficiently score that notebook using a grading script. We'll pro uh, produce a, second, a separate video that's dedicated to how instructors can use these hash codes and a grading script that I've built uh, to assess student performance on these notebooks. Um, so if you are a student who's working with an instructor who's collecting the hash code, uh, important to note here is you click the generate button to generate your hash code, then click the clipboard icon, and that will copy the entire hash code and you'll have to submit that hash code to your instructors through some sort of form, uh, perhaps a Google form or something like a quiz on your learning management system. Your instructor will work with you uh, to identify how you should be submitting this hash code. The last item to cover here is that it's possible to erase your progress on a notebook and start over. You may want to do this if you're returning to a notebook to study for an exam, or if you're simply returning for a refresher after some time away from the topic. At the bottom of the table of contents is a start over button in gray text. If you click on this, you'll be prompted to confirm that you're sure that you want to start over and erase all of your progress. Clicking OK will erase the progress on the notebook. Um, this resets the notebook to its original state. None of the questions have been answered, and you can work through it again uh, as if you had never seen the content before. So just to confirm, uh, here's that code block that I had answered. There's nothing in it at this point. Here's the, uh, the multiple choice question that we had answered. Again, the, that one currently uh, has not been answered because we reset the notebook. 
I think at this point that's plenty for this video. Uh, as a recap, I've shown you how to access new interactive tutorial notebooks from Open Intro that are associated with the Introduction to Modern Statistics and Open Intro Statistics textbooks. All of these resources are freely available to instructors and students. We're excited about these resources and really hope that you find them useful. Cheers.